G'day guys, welcome back. Today is Resin Coaster Day. But before I'm gonna do that, I have filled my pyramid mold with my leftover bits of resin. So let's move these out of the way. And see what it looks like. Not sure how to get it out. I guess. Oh, here we go. I'm going to have to. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Fold the whole thing back like that. Okay. Let's turn it upside down and maybe if I just peel, oh, there we go, let go, peel, Ugh, it's a little bit tricky to do, oh, there we go, I don't want to knock anything off my, my table here. Oh, that's sharp. My gosh. Oh, be careful. That stabbed me. Okay, here we go. Ugh. Hang on. I'm going to move that resin out of the way in case things go flying. How do you get this last little bit off? Oh, there we go. Got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Oh, a little bit stuck. A little piece got stuck. Oh, everything else came off really well and that last little bit got stuck. Oh dear, hang on, I'm going to get my knife. I wonder what that was from. Maybe I, did I overheat it or something? I'm just going to, just going to. Oh, I'm making a mess. I'm going to just slice that off my resin really carefully. Oh well. Oh well. Pop it back inside out. There we go. Um, oh, I don't know. Actually, maybe I can fix that. I can put another little bit of silicone onto that because, you know, silicone sticks to silicone. Right. Oh, look at it. The only issue, I think, the edges kind of went in a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of, that one's pretty straight. Jim, uh, they are so sharp. If you had to rub your hand against there, you'd slice your fingers. Be real careful. Okay. So the top, I put a, a little glass crystal bead in the top and then clear blue we've got silver we've got pink we've got silver green oh what's that one i think that might be clear we've got some gold we've got some gold leaf we've got some navy oh, it's really pretty i'll fix that up i'll peel that i'll clean that resin off um but yeah i don't know what to do with it i've got a big paper big paper weight <laughs> all right let me get myself back set up for today's little pour I mean, I would like to do six coasters, but gee, they take up so much resin and so much product. So, you know, sometimes I'll do four, sometimes I'll just do, uh, sometimes I'll do six, sometimes I'll just do four. Um, you can see all the little bits and pieces that I got off. I just got some masking tape and I went through the whole thing, you know, much better than that. And I got all those little bits off. So that's a good idea to do that. Um, let me get my gloves on. I've got my wrist protectors on, my wristbands. My resin has been sitting for 15 minutes. Oh, it's getting warm. It's the Barnes Clarity and there is there are no bubbles left. Um, it's been sitting for 15 minutes because I wanted the bubbles to go and also because I wanted to, to try and maybe thicken up a little bit. So that's it there okay so I want to do a white and silver coaster and I didn't actually have 
I had one white, um, but I didn't have any cream. And look what I got in the mail yesterday from the lovely Susanna from La Res Expressions. She sent me pearl white and white satin. Thank you, thank you, Susanna. She's a beautiful lady. Just appeared in the post. So I'm going to put some of this pearl around the outside and then white and then clear. And then I'm going to put my crushed mirror glass in. That's what I want to do. I need a spoon. I forgot my spoons. Oh, get my head if it wasn't screwed on, I tell you. Right. I'm going to put just like a level spoon, I think. Ah. Uh, Let's start with a level spoon of that one and then the white, it's not open yet, let me just get that off. Now the link for the for Lorez website is below and if you use I'm going to do a little bit more. If you use um, a coupon code CHARM, C H A R M, you will get 20% off of your purchase. So use the little link and use the coupon code. Now I'm going to put in, I'm going to start with. A third, I think. And a third in you. This is just going to be clear, so we'll just put half a cup in that one. And just about a quarter of a cup in that one for now. Because that's going to be my crushed glass. Alright, let's stir these babies up. Actually, you know, I probably got way too much. Susanna's probably yelling at me. You don't need so much in a third of a cup. Yeah, I realise that now that I've I've done it because a level spoon, I should have just stuck to a level spoon. Now, I'm going to have to stir that really well because I've got little bits. I'll just let it sit there for a minute and the bits can come up to the top. Little bits of mica. So that was the cream. This is the white. I just thought that would look really pretty together. Hopefully, you know, get some little blending of cream and white. So I was just going to do plain white. But I thought, oh, the cream might look really pretty with it. We'll see what happens. I like experimenting. All right, that can just sit there for a minute. See how all the micas come up to the surface? So then I can stir it again. But um, now let's put in some of these. I'm just going to wipe my spoon. Now I've got four coasters, so let's do four. One, two, three, and four. I was debating whether to use the crushed glass or the silver leaf. So hopefully my, I don't know, I just, I really like the crushed glass. And I've learned how to make it myself too in different colours. So I've made a gold one. I haven't actually used it yet, but I do need to use it. That's it there. There's my clear. That is gorgeous. I guess the more you put in, the less transparent it is. Like I can't see the stick through there, which is nice. Now this is this mica powder's floated up to the surface, so we'll give that another stir. I learned the hard way not to put, um, make sure that it's all mixed in, because then I had these little bits of mica floating around on top of my coasters. Okay. Radio. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different this time. I'm going to put the uh, ring around the edge, then a ring around the edge, rather than a puddle. And then I'm going to pour my clear in, just to see if it is if it makes any difference as to whether I can get a, a clear centre or not. Translucent centre. 
So I don't want a lot of colour. And I want the um, clear to like push the colour out. And then when it comes back in, it'll make that pretty pattern. Hopefully I've got enough. So that was a third of a cup. These little cups are four ounce cups. They weigh, well, they, they hold 120 mils or four ounces. That gives you some idea of how much I'm putting in. So a third of a cup of resin. Oh, I'm not sure I'm gonna have enough. Come on, go you good thing. I'll scrape you out. I hate to mix up just a teaspoon. Need a tiny tiny little bit more oh maybe no maybe I can just spread that it'll be all right let me get the rest out it'll be all right look at that just enough for my edges okay. right <clears throat> make sure we're taping okay now the next one so instead of pouring my puddle in it's which is what I have been doing I'm going to put this ring around the inside of the other ring and see what happens um, might need a little bit more actually I'm take that up to half a cup because it's mainly going to be white with a little bit of the cream around the outside. So let's see, it's about, oh, it's probably just under half a cup. Here we go. You can see the difference in the colours there. One is just a little bit of an ivory tone and then this one's the pure white. Just a little ring around each. I'll make sure I've got enough. Push that into the edge there. I haven't got any on that edge. Okay, here we go. Looks like I've just got enough. I'm not going to scrape that out. I shouldn't scrape them because they've got wax on the inside of the cups. And then you get, I think you get this waxy film. Right, now I've just got half a cup of clear in here. Um, just because if I fill it any more, then I have trouble pouring it. So there we go, half a cup for you. And half a cup for you. See how it's all being pulled back into the center already? I'm hoping I'll still have a clear-ish transparent center. Okay, half a cup for you. And yes, don't worry about you, you'll get some too. You won't miss out. A tiny little bit of clear left. So, oh, I didn't even tell you about my resin. It's my same one I've been using, the Barnes Clarity. It's a two part of one and one part of another. I'm just going to put all that in my little cup now. So I'm going to put the glass in and then um, I'll just add a little bit more clear 
and just top these molds up until they are doming because if you don't make them so they're kind of mounding or doming you get um you get a lip and then you gotta sand it which is okay but you know if you just do it this way then there's no sanding so yay <laughs> give it a quick torch Although there were hardly any bubbles anyway. Now I've got my clear here. Clear here, let's do a spoonful of each, a spoon in the middle of each, like so. I'll try not to drip it anywhere else, so it just stays in the middle. Hopefully, it won't all cover over. That's what I was worried about all the white covering over the clear because I didn't want that to happen. Now everybody can have another little half a spoon, so that you're all equal. And you're pretty full, you are. You probably don't need any more. This one, it's pretty full. I was going to put some more clear over the top, but I don't think it could handle any more. I'm just going to poke those in so that they're not sticking up through the, the top because the last thing you'd want is glass poking through the top of your coaster, hey? Right, so now we've got a little bit more clear and I'm just going to push the boundaries there a little tiny bit. Use all this up. And hopefully these will be mounding how's that looking so this is when you can tell if your table's straight or not see the whites going over the top a little bit there but the underneath the back might look totally different because it won't have any white going over the top it'll just you'll just be able to see those beautiful clear little mirrored glass pieces um where else where else where else you're doming you're doming you can have a little bit more so you can actually look at the edges and look the, the resin looks as if it's like making this mound over towards the the edges I'll, I'll see if i can show you when i take you down for a close-up i'll see if i can show you so they don't probably look very interesting at the moment, but when they dry, hopefully, then we'll see the beauty of them. Now I'm just going to look across the top because I've got a light there, so I look across the top and I can see if there's anything in them. And where did I see something? There's something just there. A little bit of fluff. I went out and went to Bunnings, our hardware store, and I bought um, this set of plastic drawers. It's just a plastic box. It's got two drawers in it, um, like this, these drawers. And they're great to pop over your work. So, yay. <laughs> so I've got two of those. It was expensive. It was like $30. But I searched high and low to get a plastic box. And, you know, they're either those under bed ones and they're huge or they're like this deep. And I only wanted a little shallow one just to go over the top. So I just paid the money and I got my, got my little drawers. So very happy about that. Let me just clean up here and then I'll take you down for a close up. I'm just going to wipe my hands. I've got my, my baby wipes here. Do it away from my coasters to wipe the resin off your gloves before you take your gloves off so that you don't risk getting any on your hands. I'm just going to take them off and then I'll grab my phone. We'll go down for a little close up. Okay. And I'll see if I can show you the doming that I was talking about. Oh, it would have been nice if I'd done that, hey. Would have been. Got a shoulda woulda. Didn't. Keep forgetting. Keep forgetting to zoom you in because I get so excited. Get carried away with what I'm doing. Okay. Now autofocus. 
Look at that. Is it hair? Use the pointy end, woman. Is that a hair just there? I don't know. All right. So at the moment, still got a clear center, but you can see the reaction of the two micas together. they're doing they're really pretty and you can't really say oh there's a cream and a white it just looks really pretty at the moment so we'll see what happens now let's see if we can get down nice and low I don't know if you can pick it up, but you can you see the doming, how it's making a little dome. Oops, that's a bit bright. So anyway, try for that. Make them up, take them up nice and full, so they're just about to go over, and then you won't have that lip. So yay! All right, um, I'll keep an eye on these because they will change, and. I'll see you tomorrow for the grand unmolding. So, see you soon. Good morning, good morning. Here they are. They haven't actually changed a lot since we saw them last. And I don't know if my idea about pouring rings was a good idea because now look I have got this huge clear section I think when I did the puddles I think that was better because the resin went down and then kind of pushed out but I still had a little bit of color in the middle but anyway we shall see it was worth a try I wanted to try it and to see what would happen if I just did the rings on the outside <clears throat> but looking at it I think <laughs> it looked pink, didn't it? I do think that maybe my original way of doing it was better, but what do you think? I'm not all that keen on how the resin has continued to run over the top. And I think the only way I can not have that is, and I'm going to try one of these later on, is pour half my resin let it dry and then do a flood coat with the the silver or whatever it is I'm doing so I think I'll try that but look at the back see the back except for the fact that it's only got a little section there the back is really quite pretty we're getting some really unusual little effects in there but see how the see how it's clear. You can see right through. Whereas the top there, it's kind of got you know that milky look to it. So yeah, that's what I want to achieve—a clear look like that. But on the top, I don't know which way you'd use it. Would you use that way? It's very unusual, isn't it? Or that way? All right. Let's just pop him up there. Get the next one out they're all going to be very similar really so I'll get on with it now that I've taken my time with that first one popped out really easily again same thing the white resin has kind of floated over the top a little bit and hidden my glass but on the other side Wow, look at that feature. I reckon maybe this side, it looks it looks like a shell or something. Look at these amazing little effects happening. So really pretty. I'll put that one there. Actually, come forward a little bit because now you can't see the back one, can you? <laughs> All right, next one. Oh, look, there's a hair on top of that one. And I was being so careful not to get anything in it. And look, there's a hair. Oh, 
You could sand it and do a little flood coat, but I'm not going to bother. It's just an experiment. Love the effects that that mica powder has made. I just wish it hadn't have gone over the top. Um, what can I do? What can I do to stop it from going over the top? Maybe wait until my resin's thickened up. Maybe that would help. Now there's really no lip to speak of because as you know I domed, filled these molds up right up so there's no lip to sand which is great because who wants to be sanding resin hey? I mean really. Oh look that's where I must have dripped Maybe like a drip to blob of clear or something in there. I'll put my finger on it. <laughs> Look again, gorgeous, gorgeous, amazing little effects happening in there. Really, really pretty. So that's that one. Lucky last. And I will paint the edges of these with silver. All these resin coasters are for sale. I actually have an eBay store which I haven't really used in a few years but I'm starting to use it again now because I've advertised my molds on it. This looks so 3D. It's like you can see underneath this, you can't really pick it up there but you can kind of see underneath that white. It's like a little coven. Wow it's so unusual. But yeah if anybody wants any of these coasters that you've seen on my video you can message me uh, and I will try and put them up on my eBay store when I've got time in my busy busy life so that's them there um, I will paint the edges in silver and I'll set them up and uh, show you the finished product so I'll see you soon I was just about to paint the silver on the edge and I thought, no, stuff it. I want silver on top and I can't see the silver because of all the white that's gone over the top. And I've gone to all the trouble of pouring the resin, mixing it all up. You know, it's, it's expensive and I thought, no, I'm going to do a top coat and I'm going to put some silver leaf in because that's what I want to do so that's what I'm going to do now when I do the top coat I like to use the epoxy glass this is actually meant for a thin coating like a top coat to, to um, coat your canvases your coasters whatever just a thin um, layer if you're doing it um, it works out really nicely like even with with this that I've poured you can see it's got like I don't know they're not imperfections but they kind of look like an oil slick on top it's probably just from the mica powder but anyway when I do this top coat like I did on my my tray did you guys see my tray my coaster and tray set I use the the top coat so that's what I'm going to do and I've just got them sitting on little plastic containers I'm going to take the resin just to the edge I don't want it to fall over see if you don't make it dome if you plan ahead and think okay I'm going to do a top coat you wouldn't put so much resin in your coasters and allow for a little bit more room to um, to do your top coat and I've just got it sitting in a in some warm water there because I want it to flow nicely and it's a really cold day today it's winter here in um, Australia so it's a bit cold so I've got it had it sitting in the water bath just to make it a little bit thinner right so um, what I'm going to do here I'm going to put some clear in there I'm going to put a little bit of silver and I don't need a lot of this is silver leaf make sure that it is separated not in a big chunk when you use it don't think I need a lot I only need a little bit just for the the middles 
the centers. So that'll do. You want to come in too, do you? There we go. Join the party. Right, now a little bit of resin in with that. Again, not too much because I don't want it to kind of all float away. And I want to break them up so that they're only little because it's only a little center that I'm doing, so I don't want huge flakes in there. So that's it's looking a bit thick. I need to add a little bit more resin. Don't want it too thick. So I think what I need to do really, this is me thinking aloud because I haven't really done this before. Um, oh, what did I do when I did my gold? I put this in the center and then I put the, the clear around it, didn't I? Hmm. I guess I could do that again. I will have to put a little bit of clear, it's probably too much, I'll have to put a little bit of clear over the top of these anyway, I'll have to take a little bit out, just so that they kind of poke down a bit, because I don't want them sticking out of the top of the resin, I don't mind if they fly away a little bit. Where are you going? You're going too far. And I know when I put my clear resin over the top of this, it's going to push them out. So it's tricky because I want the clear resin over the top, like to, to level them, but I don't want it to push them out. So I keep just a tiny little bit there for top ups. Okay. Um, you get off. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to put a little bit around there and with my stick I'm just going to ever so gently push that resin out to the sides. It needs to go over the edge. Oh, get out of the way, I'm going to knock you. I'll do one and then I'll fast forward you so that you're not terribly bored about me pushing this out. All right, I need a little bit more. So don't put too much on because you don't want, well, I personally don't want it all going down the sides. I just want it sitting on the top. So not too, too much. Now I'll look at it down lower so I can look over the top of it to see if there's any bits that I've missed. And resin is self-leveling so it will want to level itself. Now this is where I'm going to have to pour just a little bit over the top. And just, oops, better change sticks. Try and level that. Might have to put a little bit more on because I don't want the silver leaf poking out through the top, eh? I might have a little bit too much leaf there. It's a big blob. Over you go. I don't want a big blob. So yeah, I probably needed half of what I mixed up. Okay. That looks good. Keep my sticks separate. Now, a little torch. I don't have to worry about burning any moulds because it's just sitting over here on its little podium. And that is looking amazing. A little bit more resin just on the edge. Alrighty, so I'm going to... I'll, I'll do them. Um, I'll just speed them up so that you can see...
Hey guys, I uh, thought I'd show you what I'm doing with the silver edging because a lot of people ask what did you use? Now today I'm using this one, Montmart, and that's just a gorgeous silver. Look at that. And um, to apply it, I'm using my my silver Krylon pen if it'll focus <laughs> if you've got one of these like if you've had a silver Krylon pen um, which which is great um, but it's run out now so I just love the nib on the end so what I do is um, I just dip that into my paint and I do the same with my gold one as well and I've got a glove on so that I don't leave any fingerprints on I've actually noticed that this um, top coat epoxy glass of the Barnes it takes a little bit longer to dry than um, the other resin oops I'll try not to get in the the shadows here but it's a bit difficult I'll just do my best all right, so basically just paint that on. I just prefer this using this nib to a paintbrush. It's just so much easier. You know, with the paintbrush, you get little hairs, stray hairs flying everywhere, and it ends up going on the top or on the bottom. So just move it around. It's a bit hard to see, isn't it? Silver on on um, white <laughs> but um, yeah I can see you might not be able to pick it up so anyway just go around like that it's really easy I won't do the whole thing and then when you're done with your edges just dip again and then I'll kind of wipe the sides off because I don't want too much paint on there and then just put half the nib on the edge and half on the front and I'm sorry if I'm in the light again and we'll just run it around like that it's really easy Gives you a beautiful little edge there. It's taking me a little bit longer because I'm watching what I'm doing and then I'm watching my screen to see if I'm in focus or not. Oh my gosh. But um, I thought I'd just show you what I'm doing. And then you don't have to ask. Hey, I've got quite a few different golds and silvers that I use for this edging. So you can see there where I've stopped. All right, having trouble. I never know what to use to focus with this when I'm so close. Let's try that one. Let's try that button. So I will continue to do this. And, um, I'll try and get a nice photo but it's winter here at the moment and it's cold and dark and rainy and there's no nice sunshine today so I don't know how I'm going to go with photos but um, I will try and get you something nice anyway whoops all right so I'm going to finish the rest of it on my own <laughs> I can take my time um, but basically that's that's the edging all right see you soon oh and then when you when you're done just 
pop it like that up onto a little upside down cup or something so that it dries nicely without touching anything else.